Halloween fast approaching and trick or treat safety is a top priority every year for parents and for law enforcement. Parents may want to check the sex offender registry prior to Halloween to see which houses might be unsafe for trick or treating. Our digital journalist Ferris Sabawi joins us live to tell us more about a map you can check out to make sure your kids are safe this Halloween. Good morning, Ferris. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, good morning. It's always good to see y'all. Good to see you. So, okay, Ferris, how was this map made? Yeah, so we actually worked with Esri, which is a great um, mapping and, and data company that helps us on some stuff. And, you know, one of the things we wanted to do to make it easy for parents, um, you know, especially around Halloween time, uh, is to put together this map. So what we did was we actually pulled the data from the Texas Public Sex Offender Registry, which is maintained by the Texas Department of Public Safety. Um, and so we pulled that recently with the most recent information and addresses on there and uh, made sure to make a, a map that's really easy for people to check out. So that's on our website at ksat.com. Uh, it's a really uh, great interactive map. You can actually put in your address and search from there and then look at you know the places around you, maybe some spots you might wanna avoid. And uh, so it's just, you know we just wanted to give parents a nice way to quickly check this information, especially as they prepare for uh, trick or treating. Ferris, how's the probation department getting involved this Halloween? Yeah, Mark, that's a very important point. You know, a lot of these sex offenders, there's like thousands of them in Bear County, and most of them aren't under that community uh, supervision because they've already, uh, you know, they, they've already served their sentence, already completed their probation. But for the hundreds or so that are still on criminal probation, the adult probation department told me that they've been making home visits uh, all this week, they have been doing it actually throughout the month and will continue doing it through Halloween night. Uh, what the department supervisor told me was that it was very important to them to make sure that they have a presence out there and make sure that offenders know exactly what their requirements are. Uh, and a lot of that requires them not to open the door, uh, not to leave their light on outside on the porch, um, and you know, really not to take part, uh, not to partake in any of uh, you know the trick or treating festivities. Um, so the uh, probation department is going to be going around uh, this week uh, and through the next week to make sure that uh, everybody is up to date on their compliance. So Ferris, what are some easy tips or guidelines that parents can follow to make sure they keep their kids safe? Yeah, Sarah, um, a lot of these things are really just kind of common sense. So first, you know, you can use that map on ksat.com. Help, uh, you know, it would help you plan your route out before you go uh, you know, for, thing, uh, for, for the uh, trick-or-treating experience here. Uh, you know, uh, so that's always good. Another thing that's good to do is to go in groups. Uh, you know, there's always strengths and numbers, as they say. So it's always good to go in uh, bigger groups, maybe take a few uh, families with you or, or you know, just uh, some friends as well. And, uh, you know, lastly, uh, something that's kind of important, especially as it gets darker uh, earlier these days, uh, you know, you can take a flashlight or have, have children wear some of those glowing type, um, you know, necklaces or, or bracelets. And that can really help, um, you know, just make sure that you can see them at all times. Uh, just keep an eye on them. And hopefully everybody has a great, great time on Halloween trick-or-treating. All right, digital journalist Ferris Sabawi joining us live. Thanks, Ferris. Hey, thank you guys.